Hello and welcome to another Nico Media Tutorial. So today we have another sh uh, a quick tip. So uh, it's about my last animation I made. This was this one here. And I thought I already have shown every technique uh, of the movements, what you see here and everything. Uh, but one follower told me I have not and he is right. Because I did not show how to move this rocking uh, horses here. And now I want to show you how to make the animation for the rocking horses. It's quite easy, so uh, the technique I used for this, we, we already uh, uh, we used it in the last two or three uh, tutorials. Here, here we used something like this and everything. But I want to show it again and show how they can use it with the rocking horse. So first I need the rocking horse, I have this in my object manager. So I made the, all the things from scratch uh, in my animation, but I of course saved my my objects here, so I don't need anything. So. And yeah, if you are a patron, you can download here the whole scene with all the objects in it, with all the animation and everything. You can download the scene in on Patreon, of course. And then if, uh, the only thing I did, I, I took the out of the scene the the single objects and and dragged it in my in my content browser that's all what I did so and so it looks then the toys and check it here good okay so I don't need subdivision surface for now we have now this well, it can be every object of course uh, it's important that the object is on the floor so I see here it's not on the floor so I drop the floor Okay, this plugin you will find on my website, and the link to the website is in the description. It's a free plugin. And now I need a circle. I go here in front mode. A circle, a, a disk. It would go with a spline as well, or something else. It doesn't matter. But I use a disk here. Uh, something round, of course, not not a cube or something else. And give it here 50. And bring it as well to the floor. And now I have to do one thing. I have to uh, make the size of the disc as big so that, that it fits here the size of this rounding of the rocking horse here. So G for scale and I make this a little smaller. Bring it again to the floor and let's see. Ah, I'm almost there. Looks good. So, yeah. Now what do we have here? So, disc. Ah, 70. Should be fine. Okay, that looks good. And now. Uh, I simply, when I drag the rocking horse under the disc and I rotate the disc, you see that looks something like uh, it rocks, but uh, we need the movement of this of, of the sphere as well. And for this, we do nothing uh, different than in the last videos with when, when you roll a wheel. So you can imagine that this is a wheel. And I want, if I go in the x-axis, when I drag it in the x-axis, it should roll like a wheel. And so that this would roll, that the horse rolls with it. So let's do this again with an express. So we did this in the last videos and the last tutorials. So you should be, uh, you should know it already, but let's do it again. So we need an express attack, of course. Programming text. Huh? Why is Siri speaks with me? <laughs> Express. So it sounds like Siri. Okay. Good. And in this Express, so we need. I have already one in my pool. So it's a, a simple row loop. This is the, the Express. So we need. So in my uh, preset here, I just can, could drag in the. the disk here everywhere it is undefined things and it's done so when I sh can show you this track the disk inside here the outer radius 
position X and here and now when I move the disk I already have this everything works but I want to show you this again and then I show you how you can then uh, uh, save your own presets so do this again so we have now an empty espresso we need the circumference of this disk this is the first thing so I go to the disk we know the outer radius of the disk, bring this in, and the circumference is twice the radius times b, we know this. And now we know it. <laughs> so we need a math node. And this math node should not add, it should multiply. So, go here. No, that's okay, here we multiply. So, the disk radius input then times 2 here is the uh, diameter and now times p so we need another input here and see here just write in p okay so now with this math node we have the circumference of this uh, circuit now we need a range mapper and this range mapper uh, converts our radians to degrees because we get here radians out and this will convert simply to degrees so to 360 degrees then okay and then we need the disk here and we want to roll it on B yes okay and the only thing we need what we in the range mapper this output we need here an output upper this comes in the upper and the input is the position x here the x position of this disk because we move it in the x direction so we need the x position this is the input and now we this, 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 and now we should have our animation. So our movement disk. And you see, and you can imagine, we just can rip, rip, animate this thing. And what I want to do is, I want to make this later as a Lambic file. So I can uh, uh, paste it in everything, I can merge it in everything I want and have the already animated uh, uh, horse when I want it. So, and this thing, when you want to uh, to uh, save this as a, as a preset, you just take this one and delete all, first delete all the uh, references out of this. Uh, let's make this, I copy this first so that I don't lose it. So, if it clear this you see now we have undefined but we know this should be the radius so name it radius of our object radius <laughs> radius then come on radius wait a minute man this this quarantine is not mine so this is move object so we delete the and uh, name it move object or exposition limit exposition exposition <laughs> what's, what's happened with me today I drank nothing believe me I'm totally clear should be so and here the rotation B so I go to delete this disk clear this is the roll it so and so you can take it, make a select everything, make it x, x group, convert to x group, name your x group however you want it. So let's see if I load it. And now you simply can take it first, you make your own pool, create a pool. You see, this is my pool, and now I can just drag this in my pool. And then I always have it when I need it, just I just drag it in and just uh, drag and drop my object which should roll in, in here 
So, then delete this one, bring in this one again. Okay. Uh, now let's make this animation. Uh, we move just the disk into X direction. So we are in frame zero. Make a keyframe, then uh, 25 frames is one second in my, in my case here. So, and let's see how far I move it. I want to move it up to here, that should be fine. Let's see. 50 is it too much? Oh, 50 is okay. No, I want to start on, on this and I don't want to stop it in the middle, so. 50, yeah, okay, and I go to frame zero now. And make you minus 50. So I want to start on one end point. So now when I make this, okay. You shift F3, I go to my timeline. And I don't want here a linear movement. I, so that my, at the moment it, it just moves linear. This, that looks not nice. It should start slow, get, get faster in the middle and end slow, of course. So I go to my disk here, position, and here. I take my, take my uh, keyframes and make an ease ease here. So, oops, that eases the ends out. And I want to, yeah, to repeat this thing. So I go to my position X here. And here I have an after, what should happen after the animation. I want an oscillate here, not a repetition. I want that it goes in this direction and then goes back. Uh, if it loops, it's it just a bit. It would start here, go to here, and then jumps to here again and starts from here. The oscillate is left, right, left, right, left, right. And I need, let's see, how many, two, three. So you see, trip, 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 that's nice. If we hit play now, we should have a nice animation, a smooth animation. You see this is easy and we have a wonderful thing. So of course we don't want to see our uh, thing here, so we make it like this. But I think the better way is here. All right, let's see if I can. Uh, only bake the thing. So, yeah, I try to bake it like this. Normally, I would bring it out of the. Yeah. Normally, I would bring out it out of the disk and make here a constraint tag, constraint to the disk, but there we try it like this. I go to the rocket, uh, rocking horse, right click, and say bake as Lambic. So, I bake it on my desktop here. Okay and bring it out. This is not the Olympic. So I can delete or uh, can hide everything else. Disable the express so, so that everything is... So here it happens nothing. Let's delete this. We have now just our Olympic file. Okay, that does not work. So... Then I have to do it like I said. I bring out the rocking horse. Don't forget to enable this again. So the disk should move at the moment. Yeah. And I want to constrain my rocking horse here. Region tag constrain. I want to make a parent. And the parent is the disk. And I want the parent the position and the rotation. Is. Okay. Parent is the disk. So now we have the same as the uh, horse would be under the disk. So it's exactly the same. But now, when I bake this as a lambic, so let's hide it. When I bake this now as a lambic, okay. What we have now is the file. We can delete here everything. And we have our animation. And the nice thing with an Olympic file, you can merge this in each uh, scene you have it, you have. So and you have your animation, 
and you can go here to the, the dynamic, you can go to here and say, this is too fast, go to 50%, so you can make it slower, if you don't want an animation in, in your scene, you can just use animation and stop it, so we don't, don't have an animation, because you have to tend to, to make it straight and this so now you don't have an animation you can simply bring it in the scene as a still. So and yeah and of course you can bring this in a subdivision surface. Then not like this with the alt key, as you see this is not a good idea. You have to make here now first the subdivision surface and then drag the horse inside. Now this works in I for the ISO pumps and we have a wonderful you can make it twice the speed, of course, or even slower if uh, the small thing, the dang, 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 dang. But then you see it stops because it, it's just uh, calculated for 100 frames. But you can go here to simply loop this thing, and then this will loop without any problems. Okay, so let's do it back down. That's it. More is not really to say here. Uh, as I said, yeah, a quick tip, and yeah, and you can do this with, with this is Alembic thing. This is a great thing. If you know, I need this animation often. And here, it, it makes sense, of course, because uh, a, a rocking horse will move. <laughs> Good. Okay. So I hope you like this one. I hope it helps you a little bit. And as I said, you can download the whole project file on Patreon and then you have all, all the things here. I, I don't really like my Batmobile. <laughs> and yeah, if you have not, another, another questions, script, re, uh, what questions, requests, complaints, whatever, <laughs> just tell me in the comments. Or I'm a little confused today, I don't know why. Just tell me in the comments on our Facebook group, or on the fa Facebook site, or on my website, or write me email to info at nicomedia.at. And yeah, and I will help as, as good as I can, of course. Good, that's it. I hope you are all still healthy and hope you stay healthy. Be careful, be nice, be friendly, be helpful, be, yeah, be human. <laughs> okay, so best wishes, best uh, Richards here from Austria, Vienna, and tschüss and bye bye.